Welcome back to another live here with Design Bundles. We are so excited to have you guys here with us today. This is the ultimate craft live event. We have prizes to give away, which we are going to announce at the very end. So if you want to know what and how you can win, stay tuned and we're going to announce all of that information at the very end. Also, as usual, we're going to do Q&A. So if you guys have any questions along the way, make sure you guys drop those in the comments. So we have tons of projects for you today. There's actually five of them and it's a mixture between sublimation. We have Glowforge, cricket, all sorts of fun things. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. So the very first thing I want to do is start off by showing you what bundle we are using today. So this is the bundle here. So this is a great big bundle for $24. It's originally worth $245. So these are bundles inside of a bundle. It is so huge. So I'm using several of these and I'm going to go over the ones that I'm using today, but just to kind of scroll through here and show you, you know, what, what it's all inside of this, you have sublimation, you have your Cricut projects, you have all sorts of fun stuff. So just kind of quickly scrolling through here, stickers, etc. Now, as you guys are joining, make sure you guys let us know where you guys are from. I want to know where are you from? How's the weather? And what are you crafting today? It is National Craft Month, and so we are crafting all month long. Let me know if you guys have been snagging deals. Did you guys purchase the new Cricut Hat Press or maybe the Cricut, um, the Cricut Easy Press 3? I want to know all those details in the comments below. All right, so scrolling through here, this right here is one of our designs. This is the very first one I'm actually going to be creating today. We're going to be putting this on a camping mug. Now, I'm using a tumbler press today. This one is from Craft Express. They are new on the market, and it's so cool because they have this really pretty color, and they have tons of different things in, um, in the same color. So we're using the tumbler press today. This is a 30... 30 ounce tumbler, but we're going to use it to sublimate these little um, camping mugs. Now, if you guys want to see a tutorial using the, um, to do the camping mugs with your Cricut mug press, we have that. We'll put it in the comments below. Agetta is helping us out today. So Brittany may be here later, but Agetta is helping us. She's in the comments below, but uh, she can link this for you, or you may find it in the description, but we did do a video on this exact mug here using the Cricut mug press. Like I said, today, we're going to use this handy tumbler press. Now, this is the design I'm using today. This bundle inside of this bundle comes with several of these super cute designs. And this is the one that I'm using. I thought it was adorable. So I'm actually going to print this on both front and back of the tumbler. So we're going to do that tumbler or camping mug, if you will. So back it up here. Now for the Glowforge project, I'm creating this one right here. This is so cool. If you guys know, the Zodiac sign with this generation is so trendy. It always has been, but I want to say this generation really has taken off with the Zodiac signs. So my daughter is obsessed. So I'm going to show you a really cool way that you guys could cut this out with your Glowforge, but use it alongside your Cricut to create a really cool sign. So we're going to be using that one today. And then to continue through here, let's see, I may have to back it up. This one right here, we're also going to sublimate acrylic keychains today. So that's a popular one. And so I'm going to be sublimating these super cute schools today. So I printed out a few colors and I'm going to let you guys choose the one that I pressed today. So there's all sorts of fun ones. And then we are going to be doing, let me scroll through here really quickly. I'm trying to, here we go, this one. So you know that we have done a ton of these layered. These are those 3D layer shadow boxes. And we are going to do one today, but I'm finally doing it with those little fairy lights. So I I purchased a big pack from Amazon and it came with several different colors. So I'm also going to let you guys choose the color that we work with today but we're finally gonna put lights inside of this shadow box. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. So I'm using this design, tons of layers. I believe it was nine, eight or nine layers. So I cut that out with the Cricut Explorer 3. And then for our last project here, which is gonna be the last one we're gonna to do today, I'm actually gonna do a stencil sign. So I'll probably walk you guys through adding this design in Cricut Design Space, how I um, sized it out and all of those things. But we'll do that once we get to that tutorial. But I am gonna show you guys how to create a stencil with your Cricut with paint to create your very own sign. 
So we are gonna be doing this one today. And it comes, this is loaded with 40 designs. This is a laundry room one, which you could even put some of these in the bathroom, but it is loaded. So these would be perfect for one, either doing vinyl signs if you wanted to, or doing the stencil like we're doing today. So lots of fun things there. So that is all of the designs. As you can see, those are just some of the ones we're using. This thing is loaded. So as you guys can see, it is the super craft bundle, which is perfect for the national craft month. So definitely make sure you guys snag this. I have a link down below and again, it has it in the comments for us. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Right, so we are going to drop the camera down here and start working on our projects. All right, so very, for the very first one, like I told you, I'm going to go ahead and do the camping one inside of my Tumblr press. So I'm going to show you guys the design really quick, and then I'm actually going to bring the camera up so you guys can see the press. So we are using this design right here. Now, I wanted to go ahead and mention really quickly that I actually hacked my, my Sawgrass Sublimation printer and printed out two different forms. So these are printed with the acrylic settings, and these are printed with the settings for the a little coffee cup here. Now you may ask me, how did you do that? How did you print out acrylic and for your stainless like this, the enamel? How did I print out two different settings on one sheet? I actually used Designscape. And what I did was I actually printed this out first. So this was a mistake. I loaded it back. So whenever it printed out, you know, it came like this. I loaded it back in the machine the opposite way, printed out the correct way, um, the correct size. And then what I did for this, so that printed out in acrylic, I loaded it back inside, I went back to Designscape, and then I put these pieces in, and then I deleted these off. So whenever I loaded it back in the printer again, it only printed in this section. So I used Designscape. Now, if you guys are a Gold Plus member, you guys have free access to that. Like I said, I used that to hack the system. It worked great. It was amazing. All right, so we're going to use these. So let me go ahead and cut them out. So a few things you're going to need for this project is your printed design. You're going to need your um, your little mug. We have all the supplies in the description below in case you guys want to recreate this. So this is an enamel uh, camping mug here. So I've got this, and then I've got my Cricut heat tape here. So we're going to go ahead and trim these down to size because one's going on each side. As you guys are coming, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are so excited because we are doing a huge giveaway and we're going to announce all of the details for it at the very end. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of the show. Lots of fun stuff that we're crafting. And like I said, if you guys are just joining us today, I want to know where are you crafting from? What are you working on? And then also, I want to know if you guys snagged any of the new Cricut heat presses on Sunday. I did snag the hat press as well as the 9x9 nine nine, uh, Cricut Easy Press 3 so I can do a demo for you guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean off both sides of our tumbler. Why do I keep calling this a tumbler? Because I'm using a tumbler press, I guess. The uh, the camping mug, if you will. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead. And, where is this? One second. Here we go. Using the squeegees that are like this with those lines, it works perfect to help you hold these if you need to kind of get that still and find that center mark. So they work perfect. And then I'm just going to make sure my paper, I may need to trim it down a little bit because I may have made this design still a little bit on the big side and that's all right. So what we're going to do is just continue to trim this guy down a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do the same to this side. I just don't want any overhanging. And then because we're kind of hacking the system once again for our tumbler press here, we are going to um, leave the top part of this, which you guys will see in a minute. This is going to be on the outside of that tumbler press. All right, here we go. Also to note with that hacking system, these were not mirrored and these were mirrored. So I was able to non-mirror and mirror at the same time. Like I said, shout out to my designscape there for helping me out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two pieces of the tape here. Now remember, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure you guys drop them in the comments and we will answer those when we do the Q&A. Now, also, huge shout out. We have a Geta down there today helping us out uh, in the comments. So she's down there hanging out with us, helping you guys out. So if you guys have any questions, she can also 
help you guys out. Now, once again, if you guys are interested in a tutorial doing these using your Cricut Mug Press, um, again, I can put that in the comments for you, or we have it linked in the description because we have a tutorial showing you guys how to do that with your uh, Cricut Mug Press. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure that's nice and flush, which I have done. I think I have obviously cut my tape too big, but I'm rolling with it. So I honestly think it's gonna be okay. All right. Now we're going to take two more pieces of tape here. So you guys let me know. I want to see some hands in the comments below. Who is excited about this giveaway today? This is our biggest giveaway we have ever done. So I want to see, show your hands, show some love, give us some hearts, give us the thumbs up so we know that you guys are just as excited as we are. So we're going to go ahead and pull this nice and tight. Here we go. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna go back, just to be safe, we're gonna trim this guy just a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna go back and just trim this one just a little bit as well. You know, if you're never happy with it before you press, you're never committed, you know? You're not committed until you officially, until you officially put it down in the press. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit more of that just to be safe, okay? The most important thing you want to do is just making sure it's nice and flush. Okay, so here we go. So we have both sides of this ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to put it in the tumbler press. All right, so here we go. So I've got it taped on both sides, as you guys can see. Now, hopefully you guys can see both sides of this tumbler. I do believe you can. What I'm doing is, see the cords on this side, and I don't want to, I have this lip that has to stay on the outside. So we can't just drop this in the center. We have to put this, so if you guys have a tumbler press or you guys have a mug press like this, you can do the same thing. But what you're wanting to do is take this lip and we're gonna go on this side of the press. We're gonna slide it in. I'm just holding the handle up and then I'm pressing. All right, so we've got medium pressure. Now I have this set, I believe at 380 for 180 seconds, I believe. Now with this particular tumbler press, this one does not sound off. Now I do need to go through my manuals and just make sure I'm not missing, missing something here. But this one here, I gotta pay attention to watch that timer. So we're gonna pay attention to that. So while we're waiting for this, um, you guys let me know if you guys are excited, which project are you excited about today? the tumbler press, doing the camping mugs? Is it the acrylic keychains that we're gonna sublimate on? Is it the shadow box with lights? We have the Glowforge sign, and then we also have the stencil sign. So down below in the comments, let me know what project are you most excited about today? And then once again, if you guys have any questions along the way, let me know. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for all of the love today. I'm so excited. I am so excited for y'all. These prizes are going to be so much fun. And I'm just so excited because like I said, this is the biggest giveaway that we've ever done. And we have to go big or go home because it's craft month, right? So I hope you guys are snagging all of the amazing deals. And then make sure you guys are staying tuned because we have our dollar deal coming up as well. Um, so you guys can craft with if you guys are grabbing your crickets and all of those things during the um, craft month. Because I know there's a lot of really good deals going on with a lot of the different stores for the craft supplies. So we have all of your SVGs and uh, PNGs for you. All right, so we are getting close. I've got 80 seconds left here. Now, depending on the press that you are using today, um, your, your time may fluctuate. Now, you know if you guys are using the Cricut Mug Press and you guys are going to watch that tutorial, um, your time and stuff is already set for you. Um, and then, like I said, each tumbler press is a little bit different. So you may want to follow the guidelines for that. But um, this is the one that we're going to put to the test today. So we are getting close. We've got 60 seconds left. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I think it's because we're not sublimating at 400 degrees. We are sublimating at 380. So that's why we have a little bit of a longer time. So it just seems like it's going for a long time. But you want to drag out that time a little bit if you're going to drop that temperature. So you just want to be super safe whenever you guys are working with a different type from your skinny tumblers to your ceramic and all those things. Hello, hello. Yes, please hit the thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this content at all. It really does help us. And also, if you guys are not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, make sure you guys do that. And if you guys are not following us on our Facebook community group or Facebook pages, make sure you guys do that as well. Hit that like button. All right, so we are getting close. We've got about 15 more seconds. I'm going to go ahead and get my heat gloves here 
just to be safe and get this guy ready so I can show you. And then we're going to be super, super careful pulling this off. Now, if I was at home crafting this, and this is what I'm recommending to you, is I would not touch this because it is super duper hot. So what I would do is I would pull it out and I would actually set it aside and then peel it. But because we are crafting live, I'm going to go ahead and peel it. I'm going to go ahead and carefully get a hold of my tape here. And I made a mistake because I did not press it hard enough on this side. Let's check the other side. So I've already have a fail. If you guys have failed and then you wonder if I fail. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I do. All right, so this one here, I don't think I had enough pressure. Hopefully you guys can see that there. See how light this is? So I would actually bump this up to 385 and I definitely think I needed to bring up the pressure. So project number one is cute, but we failed on it. I think this is our first fail on the live. So we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it like a champ. All right, so there it is. I think it would have been super duper adorable, but I definitely should have picked up the pressure. All right, so let's get ready for project number two. I'm gonna go ahead and drop our camera down so we can get ready. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get this press out of the way and prep up for our second one. All right, you guys let me know in the comments below for fun, what is your biggest fail? Let me know and then we'll read some of those off of the Q&A for fun. So let me know what is your biggest fail that you have ever done during crafting? Did you forget to mirror it? Did you press it upside down? I want to know all of the details. And like I said, we'll read a few of those at Q&A because I love it. I always think it's a ton of fun. All right. I always think it's a ton of fun. Now, when you're crafting and you make the mistake, it's not fun. But it's fun to hear the stories later. All right, here we go. So for this one, we're going to do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start getting my press ready to go. As you guys can see here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that temp, get this to 400. Now with the new Cricut Easy Press 3, which like I said, we have coming here for the channel, you could actually set this with your phone. So it's gonna be pretty cool to check that out. All right, so we're gonna bring our temperature up, the time, if you will, to 60 seconds. All right, and while this is prepping up, we're gonna get ready and then I'm gonna let you guys give me some choices, okay? So let me double check, I did my, my temperature correct here. There we go. All right, so while this is heating up here, we're going to go ahead and prep our next area. All right, get those out of the way. For the next one, it is this one right here. All right, so we are going to be pressing these. These are the ones I was showing you. These so these are so, so cute. These would be perfect. Now, if you guys have not seen, we actually have an acrylic keychain tutorial where I pressed on the same acrylic circles that we put the adhesive vinyl on. These would be so cute on there. These would be perfect on the car coasters, the circle coasters for the house. These are perfect for any of those things. I absolutely love these. Now, what I want to know today in the comments below, before we get started, do you want to see me press the pink one? the blue one, the purple, or the yellow. So sound down below, whichever choice is the most, that's the one we're going to press. So you have pink, blue, purple, or yellow. All you simply have to do is put in pink, blue, purple, or yellow. So I'm going to let you guys do that while I prep up everything. All right, so there is our sublimation designs. And then what I'm using today is I'm actually using keychains that are made for sublimation. So what they look like is it has a white backing here. This is the side we're gonna sublimate on and then you have a clear side like this. So it's super thick. Hopefully you guys can see that here. So these are really cool because we're gonna press on this side here. Now both sides actually should have, I'm gonna double check here. They should have a protective coating. You always wanna check that. I think this one may not. I definitely see it on this side. There we go. And then let me double check because usually they're on both sides. So I want to double check if it is. Because if you don't peel off that protective coating, you're just going to press that plastic. I think this one is only on the one side. We're going to roll with it. All right. So like I said, you have a white side and then you have the acrylic, the clear side. We're going to press from the back. So that's why it's important not to... Um, that's why it's important not to mirror because we're actually gonna press from the back side. And so we're gonna do that. So what have we got here? You guys let me know, is it pink, purple, blue, yellow? Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead. I'm gonna go to the comments really quick so we can see. We've got pinks, we've got purples, we've got yellows. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys. Let's see here. 
Come on, pink, pink, purple, purple, pink. Okay, this is what I'm going to do for fun. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let y'all go just a little bit longer. When it comes time, I'm actually going to scroll through here and I'm just going to hand pick one of these from the comments and I'll announce your name. So give me just a bit here. All right, so that'll be fun. So we've got this, we've got it ready. The heat press is ready and I'm actually going to use, I'm going to get this guy out of the way. And now that I can show you guys a little bit closer, this is what happened to that tumbler. So I needed to just press it more. So you can see it's starting to go. I just needed more pressure. It would have been adorable. It would have been a door. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to get everything ready here. There we go. I'm using this mat. Okay. So the very first thing that we need to do to prep this guy up is we need to clean off the white side. I want to make sure that's nice and clean. And then we are actually going to tape it down like this. So now let me go ahead and scroll through here. I see we've got pink, pink, pink. Oh my goodness. Yellow, purple. Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna hand pick one of y'all. Here we go. I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. Let's see who we stop on. We have, let's see here. This is Tamisha Barfley, if I'm saying that right. Tamisha, we've got purple. So we're going for the purple. All right, here we go. So we are going to go right on top of this. So you're just gonna line it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these away and then we're gonna add some tape. I'm going to cut these off. There we go. Perfect. Now, we are going to, I'm going to attempt to do this one with the Cricut Easy Press. So, fingers crossed that everything's going to go smoothly with this one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, I did do that right, right? We did purple. Yes. Make sure I'm correct. So, I'm just lining it up here. Once again, that white side went face down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get my tape held down to that paper like that. And then we're going to get the next side like so. So I'm just trying to make sure those are held still. Now, I also want to protect my mat. So I'm going to grab me a couple pieces of parchment. One second. I feel like every single live, I'm never prepared for my parchment. All right. So what you need to do for this, you want to flip it up this way. So we want to have that paper up where we can access and I'm going to fold it like a taco. You guys already know the drill, fold it like a taco. Now what I need to do is I need to make sure I'm going to hit go. I'm going to give it pressure right in the center. So it's very important. If you guys are using the Cricut Easy Press, for one, I have it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, that you are giving it pressure because you need to be able to give it that pressure and you want to keep it nice and steady. So you do not want um, to tilt one way or the other. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to work with our Cricut Easy Press. Um, I do believe I've done it in the past. I think even with the acrylic keychains I've done, I've done so many of these here. But um, if you do have a bigger heat press, the pressure from that is going to be a lot better. But I do believe, honestly, that we're going to be able to pull this off here. I think I can give it enough pressure. And once again, just pushing down in the center. So if you guys were doing like four of these at a time, I would scoot them as close as possible in the center. And that way I was giving it a good pressure. Don't forget guys, we are going to announce the mega giveaway at the very end and how to win. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the end. All right, so we are almost done here. And here we go. We're gonna get ready to peel this. I'm gonna go ahead and bring back in my heat glove here. I didn't bring my other one, I left the other one. And so uh, hopefully we can carefully peel this off and check it out through here. Here we go. So, so cool. I know this is going to be super hot. How cool is that? Isn't that amazing? It's just crazy how it comes through like this. So it comes through that white. That purple is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. All right, we're going to get these out of the way here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and just set it aside. And then we'll get ready to complete this keychain. All right. Now, with these, whenever you guys purchase these, like I said, these are actually made for keychains. They're going to come with all your hardware. So whenever you guys purchase these from your dealers, there is these small ones like this. There's big, big round ones. You could do... Um, or Christmas ornaments with these things. There's ones that are shaped like hearts, lots and lots of shapes. But whenever you get them, they're gonna come with these pieces here. So you're gonna have this. So it's not the normal pieces we're always messing with our acrylic keychains. 
And then you're going to have this hardware. But like I said, they always come with it. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys are liking this. I think it came out gorgeous. There is that purple. So cute. Absolutely love it. Now, I do think, like I said, you can see once again right here on the edges here, I need more pressure. So if you use a heat press, you're going to get that perfect press from these. But I do think I really wanted to press this yellow one so bad today, too. I think it's so cute. But um, just by pressing these on these keychains, that's amazing. Now, another thing that I thought would be so pretty with this, take your Cricut, say, for example, your Cricut Joy, whatever you're going to use, and cut out the letters. So say, for example, I was making this for my daughter, Miranda, I would put the letter M here. Or if I wanted to, you know, put my letter T. So I would put that in white or something that would pop off of it, and it would be so cute. So I'm just letting that kind of cool down a little bit more. So that way, uh, I know that vibrant, that purple is so, so vibrant. All right, so I'm going to let that cool down just a little bit more. Now, while that's cooling, because it's almost done, I'm going to go ahead and bring in our next project. For our next one here, this is something that I've been talking about doing for a while with our shadow boxes here, is doing the fairy lights. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that information in just a sec. So I think this is almost ready. So to do these, it's so, so simple. You're simply just going to take that plastic piece. You're going to fold it over like this. So now I've got my ring in there, correct? Now you're just going to take that in that hole and pop it in. That easy, done, keychain, ready to go. Absolutely adorable, love, love, love this. So cute. I think, I love these designs. And like I said, there was tons of colors. These four were just four of the colors I chose. I think there was eight total, possibly 10 total. There was quite a few. I do love this yellow one as well. The blue and the pink one more time, just so you guys can see them, but that purple came out gorgeous. Okay, so there we go. Now for the next one here is the fairy light shadow box. So what I'm here using here today is my shadow box. I have the glass out of here. So if you guys have been watching our lives for a little bit, I took the glass out just to kind of help with that glare. So I've got that out and then I've got these little lights. Now I found these on Amazon. I'm going to bring it in. Once again, I'm going to let y'all choose the light. Bring this one in. <laughs> So this came with like a whole kit of these. So you can buy individual colors, but for example, this one here, hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see this with the light on. This one is a blue. And then we have a girl, this one is just a yellow. So this is just a normal light. So we're gonna say yellow, yellow. And then I have a green, I believe. Let me see here really quick what we have. So you guys can pick which one. We have green, so, so cute. Love the green. Now this is a camping design. So we've got, Blue, green, yellow, and I think we have one more color, so y'all hold on. Hold on just a sec. That is a different, so this is like a yellow, this is a white. So let's do white, yellow, blue, and green. White, yellow, blue, or green. So you guys let me know in the comments below, do you guys want to have the white, yellow, blue, or green? I think there might be one more color, so hold up. Let me see here. Oh my gosh, I have red too. So I was almost thinking the red too because of the fire, but I don't know. I think I, if it was my choice, I would say the blue or um, possibly the yellow, possibly the green. So we have blue, green, because I'm not going to say the red. because I think. Well, I'm going to say red. Y'all let me know. So we have blue, yellow, white, and green, right? Blue, blue, green, yellow, white, and red. All right, so y'all let me know which one in the comments below. While y'all are doing that, we are going to prep it up. And then once again, blue, a must do for camping. That's what I'm thinking. I'm truly thinking of the blue. I'm gonna let y'all just sound down below and whoever picks the most, that's what we're rolling with. But I'm, I'm really thinking blue would be cool. All right, let me show y'all my layers and then my supplies. I use cardstock, so I cut all of this out with my Cricut Explorer 3 and I sized it down to... 7.25 so this right here is an eight by eight shadow box i believe and so i did mine 7.25 so it's going to fit in there really nicely and then that, that the back piece i just used my paper trimmer to cut this down i believe 8.25 so that way it's going to cover the back now what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to run my fairy lights hopefully you guys can see this i'm going to run my fairy lights on the back i'm going to tape it down and then I think I'm going to be able to have the white on top of that and then have these pieces. So I'm trying to decide that here to figure out how to get that blue to come through. So I'm trying to figure that out or if I just kind of run it at the bottom of the box. Um, you guys let me know. If you guys have done these fairy lights below, what do you think would be best? I think I'm going to attempt to run it behind this paper. And then I'm almost like 
trying to figure out, I'm like, should I do one or two? We'll see. And then we're going to turn off the lights and check it out. I'm seeing a lot of blues. I really think we're going to lead towards that blue. Once again, y'all can keep commenting those colors while we prep up here. All right. So we have cardstock. And like I said, it was nine layers and it has instructions. So it has numbers to tell you guys, and you guys could actually leave those numbers in the bottom corner and it would cut out the letters in the bottom corner, which is going to be hidden. I didn't do it on mine, but that way you can see which way this layered up. So here's our super cute design. Then I have some foam dots. Now, if you guys have been watching our lives once again on these shadow boxes, I actually found foam dots at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And I think it came with like 500, 500 of those things. But I'm using these ones today because it's what I found the closest. But you can grab those foam dots from the Dollar Tree. All right, so let's start layering this guy up here. So like I said, I'm going to take, so I think we are going to stick. I'm going to go back and see here. Let's see. Forgot to mirror. Where did I forget to mirror? Was it my camping note on the, I wonder if it was the, let's see, here we go, printed on sub paper. Let's see, come on, purple, purple. Let's, oh, I think I was way up there. Hold on one second, let me scroll way down here. All right, we have, it looks like we're getting some blues in here. I truly think blue is going to be it. All right, now what I'm going to do for this is I was actually going to use hot glue to glue it down too, but I think I'm going to actually use some of my heat tape here just because it's what's available. And I'm going to kind of tape this down. So we are going to go across this guy. So these little fairy lights here, they just kind of, just this little wire thing here. So what we're going to do is just kind of cover this entire thing here. And I'm just going to tape it down here and there. So I'm sacrificing the heat tape today. I know y'all, but we've got to sacrifice it to, because I don't have any other tape here. All right. So we are going to just stretch this guy out. I'm just stretching all these pieces. And I went with this kit because that way for future tutorials as well, I can show you all many colors here. So I went with it so I can show you all several colors. So don't be, don't be bummed if I didn't choose the color you wanted because we have more tutorials coming. So y'all just stay tuned. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on taping this. I love these shadow boxes. I'm truly obsessed with them right now. Honestly, as you guys can tell, they're a ton of fun. All right. So we are going to, now after this, we have, I believe, this is project number three. We have two more projects after this. So I'm saving my big one for the for the last, our stencil, because I'm going to walk you guys, like I said, through Cricut Design Space and everything on that, how I did it. All right, so we are going to continue to sacrifice this tape and tape this across. Now, for you guys that are just now joining, if you guys are interested in learning what we're giving away today, how are we giving it away, how can you win it, Stay tuned. We are going to announce all of those details at the very end. Also wanted to tell you guys, make sure if you guys want to have more inspiration and all of those kind of things, make sure you guys are following us on the Facebook community group. That's where we give away. Um, we have promo codes. We have um, we have the like deals with the dollar deals, all sorts of things. But you can find tons of inspiration as well from fellow crafters too creating these exact same designs. So also, if you guys are recreating any of our, using any of our designs, creating projects, we want to see, use hashtag design bundles so we can check it out. All right, so we are just going to keep on scrolling. Now, if you guys have any questions along the way, once again, we're going to do Q&A at the very end, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, we are going to keep on trucking through here. All right, I think I'm getting close here. Now on the very end of this, as you guys could see, it came with this. Now this kit was really cool because it came with the, all the batteries inside and it came with a piece of plastic that you pull to activate them like usual, but it came with spare batteries. Every single one of these came with spare batteries. Like who does that? That's amazing. Like I thought that I was gonna have to, cause I'm gonna tell y'all something with these fairy lights in a minute. My husband had a really good idea with our next project. But I didn't prep it up in time, but he, he had a really good idea. So I'm going to tell you guys about it. But uh, I am just super, super. Oh, so anyways, well, when we were checking out these fairy lights, he turned it on and I was like, you didn't put the battery inside. And he's like, it, they all come with the battery. And I was like, no way. All right, here we go. So what I have done here, and I'll be able to just leave out some wire here to give it some room. Okay, I'm going to leave this piece because it has no lights. Now you could tape as much as you want if you just want to leave, but I'm going to leave out enough. So if I want to tape it on the back side of it, I'm just going to do that for today. Okay. So I'm going to add one more piece of tape here. That was sacrifice. I sacrificed a lot of heat tape. If you guys know how important this heat tape is, you guys know I just sacrificed a lot of that. Okay. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put this here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those foam dots to raise it up. 
So here we go. So I'm gonna use my bigger ones here and I'm going to raise this guy up to the sky. So that way it can stay off of those lights. It's not just directly on it. And like I said, I'm using these bigger foam dots just to kind of help cover lots of space. Here we go. All right, and I'm gonna do one in the center just for good luck. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to place all of these on here. Here we go. There we go. We're going. So this is like our longest thing for this whole project is pulling all of these back pieces off of here. Now, like I said, I have found there's a there's an entire strip and I need to buy one so I can show y'all. There is one that comes in a box so you can peel it off and then it's already just ready to go and you don't have to fuss with all of these. And honestly, I need to buy some, like I said, so I can show y'all. Okay, so here we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this guy up so it'll fit on here perfectly. I think that's everything. Here we go. So now this is gonna go on here like so. And then you guys see those little lights there? You'll see it better once I, once I turn off the lights. I'm gonna bring it up. So hopefully y'all can see. I think y'all can see like that. Perfect, cool. All right, so you see all my little bitty lights coming through there? So it just kind of gave it that little bit of a gap to hold all of those lights in there. All right, let's start layering up. I'm gonna leave my light off. And let's start layering these guys. So what you're gonna do is I like to just, I like to find my placement for these. And then I like to flip it over and then work from the backside. I do it different all the time. You guys have seen where I'll flip it like this and then I'll still put it on backwards. Y'all have seen it. So it's going like this. So I need to apply the dots on this side. And whenever it comes to my bigger pieces like this, I'll just use some bigger ones to just pop it up and then get my corners here with the little ones. And maybe one more here just to kind of give it that support. There we go. Like I said, when y'all do these projects, your longest part is going to be pulling off all of these pieces. And then they're going to stick everywhere, not going to lie. And uh, they become like this little static cling. So this is going to be your biggest mess and it's going to take the most time. This looks so cool. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you guys um, that you guys are hanging out with us today. Uh, we really enjoy going live because we actually get to talk to you guys and communicate. Yes, please hit that like button. If you guys are enjoying our tutorials, we really enjoy it. We really appreciate it, if you will. Whenever you guys hit that like button, it just really helps us out. It helps us to continue to bring out all of these fun tutorials. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I need to make sure I really try to center this guy up because I need to test it to make sure it's gonna fit in here. So before I continue on, I'm gonna test this just to make sure everything's gonna fit in here properly. Just making sure that layer went in there and it was centered. Looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna keep on trucking. All right, so we're gonna go to our next layer. And so this face up, we're gonna keep on popping these down. Now I like these ones. Now the ones from the Dollar Tree, they're all just little bitty. I do like ones like this where they're big because you can cover quite a bit of space with those. And I do like that. Now, the thing about it is, is over time, especially if, so I live somewhere where it's humid, you really don't wanna skip out. Like, see how I'm doing like all these corners, the center, because they can kind of collapse on themselves with humidity. So you always want to take that extra step just to make sure you're kind of getting the center and the sides as well. All right, so we're gonna continue. And if you don't have nails, you can always use your weeding tool for this. That's always helpful as well to use your weeding. All right. Now, um, let's see here. Did anybody have any funny um, crafting mis mishaps? If we did, I definitely want to know. Let's see, foam tape works. Yes, foam tape. That's another one. So it comes in an entire roll strip. You could definitely use that as well. Um, but like I said, so while I am actually doing this, I can't wait to do one of those. Oh my gosh, they're a ton of fun. And like I said, we've been talking about that here on the channel of doing one with the lights. So I'm really excited to finally bring one to you. So I have ordered some so we can do lots of fun tutorials. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with what we're doing because these are all the exact same. I need to make sure everything continues to line up in the exact same spot because if we don't, it's not going to set in that correctly. All right, so we're gonna keep on checking here. All right, like I said, so this is gonna be our longest one really, I mean, the, the paint one is going to take us just a second, but I'm so excited because I know that we've had a lot of questions on the, you know, creating your stencils and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be a ton of fun. So hopefully everything goes smoothly with that. And then 
Um, I also have that fun with the glow forge. Now, let me know. I also, another question I have for you guys. Let me, let's see, uh, more study than me. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Now, the one thing I was going to say is I cut out a ton of glow forge projects for you guys. So for some upcoming um, lives, as well as some, some pre-recorded, we have tons of glow forge stuff coming y'all, but I pre-cut out tons of projects in one day the other day. And I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with the glow forge. I want to cut out everything. I want to cut everything. I want to engrave everything. I'm just so, so excited about that glow forge. All right. So here we go. So like I said, sneak peek on that. We have lots of fun stuff coming with that. Okay. So here we go. We've got that. Once again, I'm trying to make sure everything's staying lined up. This one's going to go here. I'm going to make sure that I am doing it in the correct direction because we all know that I made a mistake last time. Let's see here. Continue to get all of these little pieces like so. I always feel like I'm so quiet during this time because it's like I'm just so focused into it. I'm making sure I'm communicating with you guys at the same time. Let's see here. All right. Now, once again, as you guys are just now joining, and if you haven't already told me where you're from and what you guys are crafting today, I want to know. I spent the money time trying to figure out my paper layers. I love the most time your paper layers. Now, like I said, this project is really cool because it actually has numbers and you could cut those numbers out. You could use your Cricut pen if you wanted to, to write on each layer. Um, so it's really neat that it actually gives you the information for that. It tells you every single layer, which one's next. So I'm really excited about that. Now, like I said, I didn't have mine cut the numbers out. I just went ahead and deleted those just to kind of save myself a little bit of time. I will tell you that on my top layer, my Cricut mat kind of took a kapui and um, it tore it up. It cut the whole thing out, which was the longest cut. I'll show you all here in a minute. And then my Cricut mat decided, because I love to use a blue, y'all know that. I love to use that blue mat. And so I... Um, my Cricut mat decided to shred the whole thing and run across it and rip it up. So I had to go back and recut that one. And like I said, it's the most intricate one. And it didn't do it until the very end. It came back. Anybody else have Cricut or your silhouette or any machines like that ruin your project? You get all the way there with a the cut. And the final piece, it just comes back and shreds it and breaks your heart. I'm telling you what, that happened to me today. Let's see here. Glowforge price increased. I've seen that. The Glowforge, every single model increased by $1,000, um, which I'm actually shocked because with the market right now, the price of materials that they hadn't done it at this point, because as y'all have seen, they haven't even kept those things in stock. So um, I actually wasn't too, too surprised about that. I am grateful for the, um, the payment system. I'm definitely, I'm one of those people that uses um, Klarna and <laughs> Affirm and all of those things to help pay for my crafting addictions. So for example, like uh, HSN, that's how I went on the other day and I bought the Glowforge. Just, hey, a little tip, guys. If you guys have the Glowforge and you've been wanting the, um, you guys have been wanting that filter system, I went to HSN and purchased mine because they're in stock. So where they're not in stock on Glowforge, I actually found them. And so I purchased one and I purchased it on that five flex, flex pay because, you know, that guy was a thousand dollars. So I have that come in because what I wanted to do is I want to do some tutorials here at the studio live with the Glowforge. So I want to make sure that we don't have to worry about bending it. And then also, so I, we have two Glowforges. We have the plus and the pro. The other one, I'm actually using a filter system or not a filter system. It's kind of like a, oh gosh, I don't know what you call it. Um, infinity, AC infinity, if y'all know what I'm talking about, drop in the comments below, but it helps push the air further out the window. And so I purchased that dude and that's what I used. So I cut all day long, cutting a ton of projects. And that thing was amazing. It ran all day long and kept the smell out of my workspace. So I did purchase that for one. If y'all want to see tutorials here on the channel of how to set something like that up, how to use it, let me know. And we will definitely do so. So like I said, lots of fun Low forge projects coming for the summertime. Um, and so just stay, stay tuned, stay, 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 stay tuned. Now, also, I have to tell y'all, one of our glow forge projects that's coming up is actually, I'm going to tell y'all a sneak peek because I'll tell you about it later in, in the tutorial, but we are actually going to do a couple of those tiered trade projects, tiered trade projects. And one of them is a summer project, right? So my aunt seen it the other day and she's going on a cruise. 
And so she's been wanting me to make her some magnets to stick on her door on the cruise, because I guess that's a thing. People decorate their doors. So what were she's going to do when I'm done with it, because I'm going to show you all in the tutorial, she's going to put magnets on the backside, which like I said, I'll talk about it in the tutorial. She'll give us photos when she goes so we can see what she's talking about. She's going to put magnets on the backside of these wood projects and she's going to put them on the cruise. So she's going to take them on a trip for us. She's going to put them on her door so we can see what she's talking about. So she's just absolutely on cloud nine about this project. But like I said, you guys will see that coming up. We actually have a live coming up with one and we also have some pre-recorded stuff. Okay, we're getting close, y'all. Here we go. I make this look so easy. I'm telling y'all, it is easy. This is a ton of fun. Now, I know whenever you first start out, it seems so overwhelming. But I promise you, you do, because you guys know, this is not my first rodeo with these things. I have put them upside down. Like, for example, I would be putting these on backwards. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, y'all know that I just roll with it. It, these are so easy to pop back off. So if I made a mistake, they're easy to, these don't, you can change these out. Something that I do here on the channel too, is I use that same shadow box. So I change these in and out. You can change them from Easter, summer, you know, Christmas, Halloween. And that's, what's really exciting about these. I don't have to buy 50 shadow boxes. I can recreate this and make it over and over and over again. So that's, what's really exciting about this as well. So you get a lot of bang for your buck on that shadow box. And then once again, you can change them, chat those lights. Now, I hope those lights, the way that I did it comes through correctly. If not, we're going to load another one on the bottom and we're going to try it again. Because Like I said, we're going to turn these lights off here in a minute. Now, don't forget we're doing that mega give giveaway. So stay tuned. We have two more projects after this. This is the ultimate craft live. In case you guys did not know, we are crafting five projects. This is our third one. In case you guys have just now joined us. We're on our third project here. We're doing a huge mega giveaway today. You guys check this out. Look at all these layers. And so if you guys want to learn how you can enter and what you can win, stay tuned at the very end. We are going to announce that. Now, I do believe, see what I'm talking about? I think I got flipped around at one point because I don't know why this is in that direction. Did y'all see me flip that? I'm trying to figure out when I flipped it. <laughs> so anywho, I'm going to go ahead and continue to do our very last layer. Now, this is the one I was talking about with all those intricate pieces. And then Cricut decided at the very last, it was the last piece like this. It just like crumbled it up and shredded it and was like, not today. And I was like, oh my gosh, here we go. So what I ended up having to do was I had to go back in with my 12 by 24 mat just to finish cutting this guy. All right. So we are almost done. This is our very last layer. So once again, if you guys are just now joining us at the very end, we're going to announce how you guys can win and what you can win. We're so, so excited. It is National Craft Month. And let me know, what have you guys been making? Sublimation printer. Let's see. That is so cute. Um, let's see here. Yes, I do install fonts all day long and then can't find which ones I wanted. Oh my gosh, that's my life. Okay, here we go. Now, there is a cool way in the, say, for example, you can go in your thing and, and type in, say, for example, I downloaded the heart font. I can just go type in heart and it'll pop up for me. All right, y'all, check out all of these layers. Is this not a ton of fun? It is so, so cool. I really love I'm trying to make sure you guys can see all this detail. Look at all that 3D detail. It is so, so cool. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to get ready to turn off the lights here. So let me go ahead and pop this in our back. We're going to turn the studio lights off really quick and see if y'all can't see this. All right, so I'm going to have my lovely assistant turn our big light off. And then I'm going to turn this one off. Let's see if we can see it, y'all. Oh, goodness. Oh, duh. Y'all need the... <laughs> we can't have it completely out, right? Can y'all see that in there? Is that not cool? So I think what I probably would go back and do, hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's still kind of hard to see in here. All right, so go ahead and turn that light back on there. So what I would actually do, this is where I'm rethinking my brain. I wonder if we did like a clear, but I almost want like an off-white because you don't want to see that background. So maybe in, I would put the, if I started over, I would actually put down the white. I would just... I would just tape it down on my back piece, right? And then I would take a transparent piece of acetate. I would then put the lights on the white layer. Then I would put a piece of acetate on top. And that's what I would do to probably see if I couldn't see those better. Now, don't fret. We're going to try one more thing of lights. I'm going to try, I wanted to try them in the bottom. So let's see here. We're going to try another color too. So that way you guys can get a whole fill here. Let's see. Well, we could try a couple of them. Let's see here. Try to see if I couldn't find that green one. Here we go. 
So what I was thinking with this, if I did it in this way, I would try to put it across the bottom. Now, like I said, this is my very first fairy lights and I wanted to save it with y'all. I like doing stuff like this too, because you guys can see that everybody makes mistakes. Everybody tries to learn at the same time. And so it just takes trial and error. All right, so what I'm trying to do is stretch this out a little bit. And I'm gonna try to place these down in here ever so messily. And then, hold on, wait for it. And we're gonna try it again. I'm just gonna try something. So let's try this. What if these were, y'all bear with me, stay tuned. Let me get this, and like I said, I'm trying the green one this time. I have more blue, but we're just trying another color. Okay. I'm just messily taking these just as much as I can. I would actually do it correctly, but obviously we're live. All right, so I'm going to now, what I'm doing is I'm taping these in this bottom piece here. I'm actually going to get me some tape going here. Bear with me for just a second while I try to tape this across the bottom so we can attempt a second way of getting these fairy lights in here. All right, here we go. Boom. And then one more piece of tape for good measure. Bless my tape's heart. I, it's sad. I feel like I'm wasting like really good tape. It's all right. All right, here we go. We are going to pop this guy back in here. All right. I'm going to tap my lovely assistant, turn our light off one more time, and we are going to see if we can see it in this direction here. Now, obviously, I would have to tuck these underneath here and behind. Let's just try it. All right, go ahead, assistant. There we go. So, see, so we can see that a little bit better. I still got that blue one. So, I've got two different colors. Now, I would want to tuck this back further, if that makes sense. I'd want to tuck it back. Now, remember, I would have glass on, but I removed my glass. You can go ahead and turn that back on. So I would actually, because I removed my glass, so I would have this tucked under. So if you wanted to do two different lights, you could definitely pull it off that way. But I love it. I think it's a ton of fun. I'm so excited about it. So a few different ways you're going to be able to do those lights. Now, I've also seen where people take inside of here, and you can take those LEDs, which you can grab locally, um, at your stores most times, and they take those LED strips and they go all the way around. So that's another thing you actually could do with these is too, is you could go through here, tape them all the way around the inside and do that. And that's another way to get it to glow inside of there. And I'm almost thinking, I swear this is my last, my last think through. So another thing I could do now that I have my layers going, I could take this and we could feed it along the insides of these papers. All right, and then, and go all the way around. Does that make sense? So I could feed this in those papers because these are LEDs, they're not gonna get hot. And those would help kind of make that glow too. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited about this project. Now I've left the blue one inside and I'll save that so we can take a super cute picture and I'll get it much better. So that way, whenever you guys, you guys will see this up on Instagram in the next day or two. And you guys will hopefully see that a little bit better if we can. But I love the way that this layer project came out. I think this was a ton of fun. And I hope you guys really try out those um, little lights. Yes, definitely putting in between the layers, I think, would definitely help as well. Lots of different ways that we could do that. So we're going to go and scoot that guy out of our way. And we are going to get ready for our fourth project. So let's go ahead and get ready for that Glow Forge project. We're going to get all those supplies up here. And I'm going to scoot all of these out of the way. Now, while I get my Glowforge project ready, I'm going to sweep these over in a pile and we'll get them later. <laughs> so for our Glowforge project here, we have these pieces. So I cut this out with a Glowforge, which is actually cherry wood. I'm going to take that off here in just a minute, making sure I don't lose a little piece I got in there. And then I cut this out. Um, it says Sagittarius. I cut it out with my um, Cricut Explorer 3. And I'm going to just kind of create a whole sign going on here. Now, what we're going to be using here today is I'm using this Gorilla wood glue for this project. I've got a couple of paint brushes here to kind of help with that glue and then maybe even like a little scrap paper. All right, so here we go. We've got transfer tape, but if you guys don't mind, I'm going to get the rest of this stuff out of our way. So as you guys are um, waiting for me to switch in between, like I said, let me know if you guys have the Glowforge on your bucket list or maybe even another laser cutting machine. 
on your mind. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Once again, ignore my little dots here. I think this is as clean as we can get it. So the very first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and weed this little guy to get it out of our way. All right, so we're going to weed this. I used StarCraft. This is in black Star. You guys know I'm a fan of StarCraft. It's just so easy to work with. All right, so we're going to weed this guy out. If you guys are curious of what font, this is a plus font that I used. Um, again, I can drop that in the comments or in the description. But this one right here was one of the, I think it was called Houston Signature. Um, it, it's definitely beautiful. I love it. It is gorgeous. And I just simply type this out in Cricut Design Space and then cut it with my um, Cricut Explorer 3. All right. And we got one more teensy tiny piece right there. So that was super easy. I wanted to get it out of the way. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I think I may have accidentally welded my G, but that's okay. And so the way that this is, is this is going to go on here like so. I think that's going to be really cute. Once again, I told you this generation is obsessed with Zodiac. You guys let me know if you guys are obsessed or your kids obsessed. My daughter is 17 years old and she is obsessed. All right, so let me show y'all. I cut this out with cherry wood. So this is the thin, this is, was proof grade from Glowforge. So it's um, got protective coating on both sides. So we need to peel all of these layers. I'm just going to take my little weeding tool here and then we'll expose it. So I don't have to paint it. Now you could use MDF or something like that. And you could definitely paint these if you wanted to, but I've just used the cherry. Now, something that I could have considered if I wanted to save some money, I could definitely cut this out with the cherry wood and then I could cut um, the back layers. I could have cut those too with like MDF or something. But actually, I rethink that. You can see all the layers. I would stick with the, che <laughs> the cherry. All right. So we're going to go ahead and peel all of these layers here. But I mean, look at how intricate this stuff is. I mean, it's insane. I cannot believe that this Glowforge, I'm telling y'all, I cut out so many projects. I'm just truly obsessed. If I wasn't obsessed before, I'm obsessed now. And like I said, I cut from probably, I would say nine o'clock in the morning till probably around five o'clock in the afternoon. I just cut out tons and tons of projects. One after another, I kept that fan on that I'm talking about. Um, and I just cut, cut, cut. So once again, if you guys are interested in seeing tutorials on, if you guys own a Glowforge and y'all want to see what I'm using to vent out the system, out the system, out the window, uh, let me know. And we'll definitely get a tutorial on that. If you guys want to see a review on the filter system, since I'm going to have that one as well, let us know. We'll definitely do a tutorial on that as well. So we are here to help you guys. So that's what's kind of exciting too, is because we don't, we get to actually give y'all our, our thoughts on those kind of products and stuff too. So we're excited. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to pull these pieces. Now, what's really cool is it's not bad. I have also seen that you can use masking tape. Um, I believe, I'm trying to think, is it Gorilla Masking Tape? Y'all let me know in the comments below to help pull off little, little tiny intricate pieces. So if you're struggling to pull off your mask or any, in any small areas, you can take that tape and you can get it off a lot faster. But I wanted to save this here for you guys because I think it's, I don't know about y'all, but weeding, I love weeding. I think it's, um, it's definitely relaxing. I love it. And these pieces are getting bigger, so we, it should go a little bit quicker. Some of these, that very back piece is super, super intricate. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue to weed here. Now, while I'm weeding these pieces, if you guys want, I could go ahead and try to answer a few of your questions. So we'll see if we've got a few popped up here. And I will start to work on those while we weed this since it's gonna take me just a minute. Hello, hello, welcome guys. I'm so excited that you guys are here crafting with us today. Um, we have this project and we have one more. So if you guys just joined us, this is gonna be on the replay. You can watch it over and over again. Um, to see all those other projects. So don't worry about that. And then don't forget that. Let's see. Can you share what font in the comment, uh, in the comments below? I believe again, I can do that. We use the Houston signature, I believe, and it is a plus font. So if you guys are a plus member, you can get it for one plus credit. All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep getting these pieces. All right. And if my camera battery dies on us, we're going to switch it out because I think this is probably going to be our longest live that we have done so far. Where did you get the lights from? I got them from Amazon. Now I may have forgot to, I want to say that they should be in the description below, but if I did not link these exact ones, I will do that as soon as we get done. We will make sure we, we link these exact um, package. That way you can get all of these. 
But we always have all of the supplies in the description below. All right, what model of Glowforge did you purchase? So I started out with the, um, the Plus and now I have the Pro. So now we have the Plus and the Pro. So we have both. So I'm gonna be able to give you guys lots of um, information. But so far what I've been cutting on, I have not cut with the Pro yet, just got it in. We're gonna have the Plus here live. So the Plus is actually coming here to the live studio. And so you guys are going to get to see that one in all of the lives. And then the other one, the pro is what you're going to see in all of the pre-recorded videos um, very, very soon. Now, um, let me know, which one are you thinking about purchasing or did you purchase? All right, here we go. I think we're getting close. I love this. It's so pretty. Let me show you that color of that wood. Is that not gorgeous? You don't have to paint this or anything. It's so pretty. That's kind of why I do like the Glowforge proof grade because they're already ready to go. They're already masked for us. They are a bit more pricey, but you definitely can. There is more affordable places to purchase the uh, materials. I do have like one of the places down below and um, I've been purchasing all of my MDF and all of that stuff. They're $2.50 a sheet, guys. Mask it yourself. I have the mask I'm using down below as well. Was the mug you did a special sublimation one? Yes, the mug I did was a sublimation. All right, let's see. What else? Do we have anything else? Where do you get the camping mug blanks? I actually have it in the description below. Lots of different places. I always just purchase. So say, for example, these ones came from Craft Express. Um, but you guys could definitely, I've purchased them from JP Plus, Condi, wherever you want to purchase, wherever you purchase your blanks from, usually they'll have those. But from this one, it's, I found it the cheapest and you get a four pack, I believe. How do you get a full wrap to line up all the way around? I have done a couple mugs, but when I wrap it, it's not wrapping around straight. If you want, we can definitely do a tutorial on that. So I will make note of that today. And if you are talking about the camping mug, please specify that. Um, and I'll definitely do that. And you know what? Maybe we could do a whole full wrap. I'll do an entire video that is a tumbler, the mug, like ceramic mug, and like an enamel mug. We'll do that soon. All right, guys, I have this back side. And then we have one more side. How long did it take to cut this project? This one right here was, um, I want to say it took maybe one of them was like four minutes and then the other ones were around 10 minutes roughly. So no longer than 10, but I almost feel like this one was four minutes. It truly was not that long. It did not take long. And that's the thing is I will have to say playing with the glow forge compared to like a Cricut maker, you're going to cut this thing in seconds. Now I know for a crafter, the glow forge is not feasible. You know, for somebody that's just creating crafts and stuff for, you know, yourself or friends, it may not be in your budget um, unless it's something. Say for example, my husband had a hobby that was um, airplanes and um, helicopters and some of those things costed us thousands of dollars. So it may be just something that's your hobby and you love it. Or it may be for your business, but I know not everybody, um, you know, can feasibly. But I will tell you guys, there is another one coming up that's like a desktop. I don't know if you guys have seen it from, I think it's called uh, X Tools. They're going to have a desktop one that's going to run around, I think it's either 700 or 1,000 It's in its desktop. So if you guys need one that's a little bit more on the market, you guys could definitely check that one out. We are going to be getting that one soon, too. Hopefully around April or so, we'll be doing tutorials on that too to test it out. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's see. What do you do with the stuff? Whenever I go live, I actually donate um, most of the stuff I create. Now, say, for example, this um, shadow box here, I'll actually keep it because I just take the cardstock out. I keep it so for photos and stuff, but I'll, I'll switch the cardstock out. But everything else, I donate it. Um, we actually have a local spot here that is ran by, um, it's, it's, a bunch of like a disability kids, if you will. And I just drop it off there. So we'll load up the car. So I pile it all in a pile and then we'll load up the car on a weekend and, and go drop it off there. But yeah, I definitely donate all of this stuff. Is there some type of other materials you can put on regular mugs to make them sublimation available? Yes, there is. It is called, I have to think about it and I do, we have not, I have it to do a tutorial. So that video is coming very soon. I've done it on wood. So if we can get that tutorial to you, we'll try to drop it soon, but I, I'm trying to think about what it is called, um, but it is a special coating. You can coat your own mugs. So say, for example, from the Dollar Tree and things like that, you can coat them with that special coating. But like I said, I can't think of it off the, it's by Dicep. I know it's by Dicep. The same company that does that coating that we put on our t-shirts, same company. All right, let's see here. 
what printer did you use for sublimation? The printer that I'm actually using is Sawgrass. So I, Sawgrass has been my favorite. It's what I started using back in, like I said, around 2017, 16, 17. And I just love it. Now I do have the Epson and I have for the Epson, I use um, Starcraft, but I do use, so for example, today we use the Sawgrass SG500. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? Anything else? I'm almost done guys. We're, look at all this intro. Look at this. Is that not crazy? Like, look at that. And especially to cut it out in like four minutes, 10 minutes the most. But I do believe this one took around four minutes or so. I missed a piece. I could see it. I seen it. Where did it go? Right here. And I mean, look at that intricate. Is that not insane? And then look at it. I mean, you could do thicker than this. Just this is just the one eighth. But um, you could definitely do thicker than this. That is insane. That is crazy, crazy. All right, let's see. We're going to go ahead and I'm almost done. I'm getting the rest of this backside off. Now, once again, to save time, if you purchase um, some, if you could, I think, I don't know if you could use painter's tape or not, but I do know it's like, I think it's the tape that's by Gorilla. So it's super strong and you can actually use it to go down. It would pick all these pieces up at one time, but I didn't think that far ahead for this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Does anyone know of a different machine that is compatible with Glowforge? They are not too, that are not too expensive. Um, the one that I mentioned just a little bit ago, and I have not done a review, and I know that you can purchase them now. You can pre-order. It is the X, X tool. I believe it's by the brand uh, MacBlock, MakeBlock. I never know how to say it, but they do have a desktop one that's coming. They did a Kickstarter a while back, um, and I believe you can purchase them now, and they're shipping them in May or April. And I want to say that it's around 700 to 1,000. Now, keep in mind, with if you get a cheaper machine, they do now because I know they even have a desktop one that's 700, but you have to use it outside. But they're only 10 watts, where a Glowforge is 40. So keep in mind you're not going to be able to do everything that a Glowforge can. But if you're wanting to get your toes in, um, you could definitely you know start around there. Now another thing is that I always recommend too is to check your you know local Facebook pages and things like that for somebody selling a used one. Because for example, my filter system, I tried to score a used one off of uh, Facebook Market pay Place. I got there too late. It was $300. I was bummed because um, she had it in Texas. I tried to convince her to ship it to me and um, somebody got it before me, but it was only $300. I was bummed. All right, we are almost there. And I do believe we're on our last side, correct? Yes, we are. We're almost there, y'all. And then we have one more project and I'll probably switch my... Um, I'll probably switch my battery out just to be safe here in just a second because I feel like we're probably going to be losing this battery in a sec because this is our ultimate craft lab. Now, remember, if you guys are just now joining or if you guys are still here, hang tight because you guys are going to learn at the very end how and what you can win. So I'm so excited to announce that. That is definitely coming up. So just bear with me. We are on our very last piece. Thank you so much for those thumbs up. Once again, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe. We love hanging out with you guys. I know some of you guys, I can see y'all. I can see you guys are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notifications every time I go live. All right, here we go. We've got everything ready to go. Check out all these pieces. They're a ton of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these. I've got my little pieces all over this. I'm going to place it on here like so. And then we're going to have our Sagittarius. So I think I'm going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to get this down first and then come back with that Sagittarius as crazy as it sounds. So we're going to go ahead and start gluing this guy down. So once again, I'm going to flip this guy over. I'm going to work from one way to the next. Now this will dry clear. So I am going to go ahead and just start getting this down in all of these areas. Now you could definitely go over all of these intricate pieces, but I'm not gonna be too concerned about it. All right, cause this piece here, I didn't think about it, hold on. Should I flip that over so this could go on? I'm already losing like where I'm at. I think we can, it doesn't matter cause I wanna put this down here. All right, I'm like get off there, here we go. All right, so I'm going to start with getting my first layer down here just to start inside of the sign. Now, this is, by the way, this is a uh, canvas. This is just a wooden canvas that you could grab locally from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that. So this is one that you paint on. You can you can make your own wooden sign if you want to. And this is one that I've actually even used before and just pulled the vinyl off. So you can reuse an old sign if you wanted to. All right, so now we're going to come into our next one. So I'm trying to pay it. Uh, I'm going to put it on the back side of this so that way I can just set this piece down. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just get it some pieces down like so. Now I've got a little paintbrush where I could go ahead and spread these out just to kind of move all that glue around. You could definitely get edge to edge, but I think since this is just a wooden sign here, I don't really have to worry about covering every little detail. So I think it's going to be fine. So what you want to do is just give it some pressure at first, just to really kind of hold everything down um, and keep it in place. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our next piece here. So same thing. I'm going to go ahead and just get some glue here and there. Now, my husband had a hard, uh, smart idea last time. So put some of this on a paper and then dip into it from the paper and then you can spread it around. But like I said, we're live. So we're just we're just rolling with it today. But that is something I would recommend to make it a whole lot easier with this wood glue since it does have such a big little spout, if you will. All right, so we're going to keep on layering this. Now, I need to I think I'm trying to think here for a sec. All right, because I don't want to go too far without putting this guy in. There's a little bitty piece that goes in here, and I probably should put it before I go keep going. So hold on one sec. I'm going to go ahead and get a tiny little piece of glue there. And there's just this most little minute piece. And it's going to go right there. There we go. And then we are going to hold this guy down. So once again, I just need to hold it down for a few seconds just to make sure it's, it's adhering. So I'm just kind of giving it some pressure for just a second. And then we're going to add that last one and then we'll add Sagittarius and this project will be done. So this is a pretty quick one. So basically you have your glow forge cutting this guy out and it doesn't take no time at all. I brought this design in. I sized it down together, put it on top of where it could all cut out. And then, um, and then I uh, then cut this out with a cricket. Now, this is to talk about what my husband was saying. He said what we should do is cut out, say, for example, uh, we should definitely, basically, we would cut out that very back layer, but a little bit bigger, but we would have it completely solid. And we would cut that out with clear acrylic. Then we'd also cut out it like another one of these layers and then put it down. And so that way you could put fairy lights be behind the acrylic and you would have this glowing with the fairy lights too. And that was pretty cool too. Uh, so that was the idea that he had, but we were already ready for the go for the live whenever he's seen it. And he's like, oh my gosh, this is what you should have done. But we were already prepped to do it this way. So that was another thing of his idea, like I said. So just another way to do the project, if you're going to do it, is using the acrylic as your back layer and then putting that, the fairy lights, like I said, behind the acrylic, you would have those shining through with the lights. That would be really, really cool. I know, leave it up to the guys, you know, to have the really cool ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this down for just a second and then we're gonna move on to that Sagittarius. For the Cricut, once again, I use the Starcraft. This is their permanent. And then I've got a piece of transfer tape for that that we're gonna use to put that down on here. So we're almost done. I'm just trying to give that a little bit of pressure to make sure it's gonna stay in place. Just because that top piece is a little bit more intricate. Look at this, is that not pretty cool? I love it. It adds like a 3D effect there. Once again, all of these things are included in this huge bundle that we are using today. So we have it linked down below for y'all. Um, again, I can put it in the comments again, just so y'all can see it. Uh, where should you, let's see, your plus membership is well worth it. Yes, for sure. All right. Yes, the G piece right here, somehow it welded for me. So I think it's with Cricut's new update because I know I didn't weld it. I think it's their new update for their font. I think it automatically welds your font for you. And I think that's what honestly happened. Now, if not, then I welded it myself. So we'll have to play around with that just a little bit and see what happened. So if you guys have that happen, try to ungroup your letters and scoot them just a little bit because Cricut will obviously update that soon if that was on their part. Now, if not, it was definitely on mine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. And like I said, this font right here is gorgeous. It is only one plus credit. So if you guys have this and you guys are a plus member, you can go back, snag this and use this as well. All right. So then I have this designed to where this is gonna go on here. My daughter is going to freak when I bring this home today. So this one is for her. So she's gonna be super excited. All right, there we go. Here we go. So cute. I love it. 
You guys let me know. What do you think? Now, I went and I looked it up because basically this is an arrow. I'm not too, you know, I'm not all up on my zodiac signs. So I made sure the arrow was pointing in this direction. So at first I had it kind of turned, but then I realized obviously this is an arrow and it needs to be going that way. And so I first was going to have it like this, if that makes sense. So this is the way that I was going to have it, which you could still totally do it like this and have it setting because these ones here are really cool. You can set it on the tabletop or you can hang it on the wall, but this would be perfect for that teenage girl. If you guys are trying to find a gift to make for your teenage child that they are going to freak about, make them a Zodiac sign. I'm telling you, this project right here was amazing. This was a ton of fun. And especially if you guys actually have a glow forge and you're trying to find something fun to do with your kids, cut this out and have your kids help you put it together. They're going to absolutely love it. So you guys let me know down below if you guys will be recreating this. Now, you definitely could create this project with your Cricut Maker, Cricut Maker 2, Cricut Maker 3. And so you guys could use this using the thinner materials that are available. You could also cut this out using wood veneer with your Cricut Explorers. So go grab you some wood veneer and cut this out too. So you're not just limited to Glowforge with these projects. You can use your Cricut machines, like I said, even down to the Explorer model with that wood veneer. So I hope you guys are going to recreate this. I think it came out gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to set this guy aside and we're going to work on our very last project. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and bring back up that, um, give me just two seconds. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull back up that bundle we're using today. So bear with me. And then that way you guys can see that while I switch my camera. So that way it doesn't go black on y'all. So you guys can kind of peek at this bundle for just another second. Hold on one second. I know I've peeked past in it. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my full screen to the bundle here, just so you guys can kind of see this. I'll kind of bring it up here. And then I am going to go ahead and swap out my cameras really quick. So you guys stay tuned for just a second. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my sign materials at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and do this just to be safe. So here we go. So in the meantime, like I said, you guys check out those bundles and tell me what you think. It's loaded. All right, so we are going to go ahead and switch up. And go ahead and start bringing in our other supplies here. All right, there we go. All right, so we can go ahead and drop our camera back down below as I have switched out that battery, the magic of television, right? Okay, so for our last project, this one is going to be a ton of fun. This is something that I know a lot of you guys have questions over, and it's like, well, how do we create the stencil for the sign? How did you do this? So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to open up Cricut Design Space. So give me just a minute, y'all, so I can show my screen. I just got to open it. So give me a minute. I've got to share this screen. And I'm going to show you guys how I size this and everything and what I've kind of done here. So just bear with me for two seconds. I'm going to go to new project. And then let's see here. I'm just making sure that this file is here. Nope, actually. Okay, there we go. Now, let me go ahead and share my, let me go ahead. I'm going to switch this. I keep forgetting what I'm, let me, give me two seconds. I'll stop the screen. We are going to share this one. And this is going to go pretty quickly. I'm just going to show you guys for those that are, are curious. All right. So up here on Cricut Design Space, hopefully you guys can see everything here. Yep. You guys can see. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and back us up a little bit so we can see. This is the file that I'm using today. This is out of that great big bathroom bundle, all right? So what you need to do first is figure out how big your sign is. That's our number one, number one task, okay? So the sign that I'm using today is right here, and I want to measure it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get my measurements. So step one, we're going to measure our sign. So I know that my biggest area inside the sign here, not the outside, just the inside, I've got 17 and a half by, I've got 10 and a half. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to first bring in a, I'm going to bring in a shape. I'm going to bring in a square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so that way I can see this is going to be my canvas inside of Cricut, right? So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. We are going to go ahead and do the 10 and a half wide, 10.5, and then for the height, it was 17.5 inner. Then we're going to lock that back. Now I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to change it to pink so y'all can see it. 
All right, so this is just pretend this is our white canvas. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this guy down. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy in here and I'm actually gonna go to a range, which is right here, we're gonna move forward. So now I can bring this inside and figure out about where I'm wanting this to be. Now I wanna show y'all something. So I don't wanna get, I wanna leave about, you know, about a half an inch or so on each side. Now you notice when I first put this here, I can center and everything, but it don't look good. I want it to stretch across. Don't be afraid to unlock this. Unlock your design right here and stretch it down, stretch it over. As long as you're not dragging it too much to where it looks unproportional, you're good to go. So see how that still looks good? As long as it looks good, you're good to go. Like I said, we're going to lock it back. Actually, I'm going to size that down just a smidge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I'm going to duplicate our, the, we're going to duplicate our canvas. So on the right-hand side, you can see I have that, um, I have it highlighted, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit duplicate, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make, I'm going to take off that half inch on each one. So I've got 10, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to have 17. So the first one is 10.5. These ones are, you know, just 10. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that layer. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select them. See how the both of these are highlighted? And I'm going to go ahead and go to a range or sorry, a line. And I'm going to center those so they're even. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this one blue so you can see it. So what I'm doing here, I had them both attached, so they both changed. <laughs> Let me go ahead and change this one. So you can see the two. What I have done here is I have created a half an inch all the way around. So now I know if I go ahead and bring my design, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click arrange, send to the front. I'm going to design this right inside of here. Now I want to give myself about um, a half an inch or so. So I may have to unlock this again. I'm going to give myself a half an inch or so for my stencil. So that way I'm not painting on, out, on the outside of it. So what I can now do is select everything. You can do that like that, or you can come to um, select all up here at the top. And then you're going to go to align center. So everything's centered and I'm going to hit attach. It's all going to turn to the same color. And that's perfect because now when I go to cut it out, if I go to make it, if you're using the Cricut Explorer 3 or the Maker 3, I can actually cut it without the mat. So that way I can use that material or if I'm cutting it on the mat. But as you can see, it's all together. So what this is going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and then drop the camera. Let's go ahead and drop that camera back down. And that way you guys can see the whole thing here. Let me go ahead and get this out of my way. So give me just a second. Here we go. So now what we have is this. And so what I'm going to be able to do is, it's just gonna help me weed. So having that outside box, I was like, where did my weeding tool go? Having this outside box is going to help me, number one, just weed all of these pieces here. So this is that outside box that we created right here. Oop, I almost took the whole kit and caboodle with me. So this right here is that outside box. So when we attached it, this is that very first box we created. And then we have, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one here. This is just the vinyl, obviously. This is what's just here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this piece. That's our very outside. That's just the vinyl, like I said. Then what you want to do with a stencil, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up my design. Not that y'all can see it, but just so I can see. Sometimes, you know how you got to refer back to remember what your project, <laughs> which pieces need to be weeded out? That's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to go home, go to the canvas. I'm going to upload, so y'all just bear with me for a second. It just helps me to be able to see which pieces I am going to weed. All right, so give me two seconds here. The screen's all the way over to the right. Now, don't forget, we are almost done. This is our very last project. If you guys are interested in learning more about how to win, just stay tuned. We are about to announce that here pretty quickly. All right, so here we go. Like I said, I was just lining up my screen so I can see. So sometimes I pull it back open so I can see what pieces I need to weed, and which pieces I need to get rid of. When you're working with a stencil, you're actually going to get rid of the pieces you normally would keep. So I'm gonna keep this big piece here and we're gonna start getting rid of all of, and I know I'm working with white here, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna get rid of all of the pieces I normally would keep. So these are the, so if you wanted to create a sign with vinyl, you'd keep these pieces, you'd weed everything else and your sign would have vinyl. If you wanted to create a stencil and paint it on, you're definitely gonna do it this way. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep on weeding all of these pieces out here. 
You guys let me know, have you guys created any stencils? Um, what projects have you guys created? You could definitely do this. We've done a tutorial as well as a live creating. This is the same way that you would create a stencil for your, um, say for example, if you were doing screen print. So uh, this would be the exact same way. And I've got a piece that came up with me, so I'm just gonna wrap it back down right there. Here we go. So once again, I'm just going through here and I'm taking away pieces. I would normally keep. It is so easy to create these stencils. And what I try to do, this is gonna, this this project, like I said, should not take us any time at all. I'm using StarCraft chalk paint. So I highly recommend if you guys are creating signs like this to check out um, a chalk paint per se. StarCraft is my favorite. Um, once again, I've just been obsessed with their products. Now, um, the chalk paint dries really, really fast. So that's why I like to use it for these signs. It's just, it just helps make your projects go so quick that we're going to be able to accomplish it while we're live because it's going to dry so fast. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead. Y'all bear with me while I weed all of these pieces out. And in the meantime, like I said, you guys let me know, what are y'all more excited about with this, um, with this today? What did you love the best? Was it our sublimation? Was it the Glowforge? Was it the lights project with the, um, with our paper craft? I want to know what has been your favorite project so far. Are you more excited about learning about this stencil right now? And once again, this is our very last one today. So if you guys are just now joining us, don't worry. This is going to be on the replay. You guys can definitely watch this over and over again. All right. So we are getting close. We're getting so much more closer to all of the details for the giveaway. So we are doing a Huge giveaway today, lots and lots of prizes. We are so excited. It is our ultimate craft show. Um, once again, if you guys are just joining us and you guys are not aware, I'm sure you guys are if you're a crafter, that it is National Craft Month. There has been lots and lots of deals going on, lots of crafts. And I also wanna know what crafts you guys are um, working on. Now, I've already made a mistake. I can see it, but I'm going to roll with it. So the piece that I actually should have kept, I'm going to show you all really quick, but like I said, we're going to roll with it, is I should have kept, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to bring it up. See how these letters, I should have kept the letters and got rid of a banner here. But once again, we're going to keep it for the sake of the show. So you would have had a banner if you did it correctly. I don't know what today, I think today is to show you guys that everybody makes mistakes. So if you guys are just now becoming a crafter and you're nervous because you're afraid to make mistakes or you're afraid that you can't do it, as you guys have seen here today from my live, that you it is okay to make mistakes. You're gonna learn from them. And it is, you know, it's trial and error whenever it comes to these. And a lot of these projects that you may think, for example, you know, somebody had said that they want to create the shadow boxes, but they, you know, they think that it's harder. But honestly, you just got to get out and do it. You got to get out and start crafting. I promise you guys are going to have so much fun and you are going to be addicted. It's kind of like me with the Glowforge, you know, where I just used it a ton in one day. And now I'm like, I just want to use the Glowforge every day. All right, so here we go. So I'm hoping you guys get excited about the glow forge too, because I'm like, we've got some stuff coming, y'all. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to weave my last few pieces. We're getting close here. All right. And I really wish I would not have messed up on that banner because it would have been so cute, but that's okay. All right, here we go. We are close, close, close. Anything that pop up, just pop it back down. We are on our last few letters here. Just going to keep on reading. Now, um, once again, you guys let me know, sound down below, did you guys stay up late on, I think it was it Sunday night, and grab any of the new Cricut um, Easy Presses? I am really stoked about the hat press just because I have been using the little mini Easy Press for a while to do that. And so I'm really, really stoked to try that out. But I did purchase, like I said, the um, Cricut Easy Press 3, just for you guys that are going to be interested and you want to know, is it worth the upgrade? Is it, um, you know, should I purchase that one instead of the other? Also, I did notice too, that it's no longer on the site. I didn't know that Cricut got rid of the Cricut um, Easy, the smaller one, the six by seven. So I guess it's not one that gets used the most. Okay, here we go. Now what we have created is our stencil. So we're going to go ahead and take our transfer tape here, if I can. We'll take our transfer tape. 
and we're going to go across this. Now, this is a big design, but I will tell you, I reuse the stencil, this transfer tape. It's not, you can use it again. So you're going to be able to cut it up into little bitty pieces. So when you get done with this transfer from this, don't throw it away. Definitely reuse. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to start to lay this down so we can pick it up. Oop. I'm going to make sure I don't get any bubbles in there. I'm already making a mess of it. Let's see if I can bag it. Nope. I'm going to have to stay. Okay, here we go. So we are going to trim this down. Once again, all the supplies are linked down below for you guys in case you want to recreate any of these projects. And all of these files are from one big bundle that you guys can snag. Now, I do believe it is for a limited time, so you guys have only so many days. The shadow box with the lights. Oh my gosh, I love the shadow box with the lights. All right, so next step we're going to do is we're going to take our squeegee. And we are going to squeegee this guy to our transfer. And I'm just going to pick this guy up. All right. There we go. And we're just going to go all across the entire thing. So you just want to run across the entire design to get it picked up here so we can move it over to the sign. Now, today, I'm going to show you all the parchment paper hack. And for the first time on our lives, I have brought the correct parchment, which is the light one. So I'm going to use this one today to show y'all. So let's go ahead and prep that up first before I peel that off. Make a mess of it. We're going to go ahead and bring this in. Now this is a sign that I've also reused. And if you guys have to, you can always go back in and take a little fine sander and take off any extra. I will tell you, I discovered something really cool. I'm going to turn this down to size really quick, guys. I discovered something amazing. If you guys reuse your signs, so say for example, I made an Easter one and now I want to use it for Christmas. I discovered that if the vinyl is cold, it comes off so easy. It peels off like a freaking dream. I was so excited that um, it actually came off so easy. It was amazing. So if your vinyl is cold, it peels nice. Just a tip. I learned it over the while I was peeling this. Because in my storage area where this was, because this didn't get donated because the, one of the handles fell off, this was one that we did like a cookie tray on. And um, the handle fell off so we didn't get to donate it so I just reused it. And uh, I was peeling it and I was like, oh my God, this is feeling so amazing. Because the storage room that it was in didn't have any heat. Okay, here we go. So what I've done is I've trimmed this down to fit in here, right? Now I've left a little bit of a gap on top or bottom, whichever way you want to do this. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to peel this guy off and I'm actually going to trim it down some. So I'm going to go ahead and trim down just like we did. So all the way around, because I want to make sure this is going to be easy to put in here. So I'm trimming off any of that excess. Now I'm not cutting the vinyl. That's my square that I, that I resized. I'm cutting the excess, um, transfer paper as well as the backing if that makes sense because I want this to be able to go in here just like so all right see how that's going to move around here we go once I start painting this you guys will really see this design I got to learn to use like pinks or purple so you guys can actually see this now once again this is our last project so uh, we are going to be announcing all of the fun details for the giveaway very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was the longest live we have ever done. We have accomplished five crafts and this has been a ton of fun. What I'm doing is I'm setting this down on top of that parchment because that parchment's not going to stick. This is going to allow me to move it around in the sign until I'm ready to commit. So I'm going to find my placement here. I'm trying to, I'm going to actually turn it this way so we can see what we're doing. All right, so now once I have found that placement, we're going to be able to stick that down. Let me see if one of the top or the bottom, I think I should be able to on the top. We're going to rub that down. So wherever there's not parchment, so there's a little piece of a gap up there at the top, I'm going to rub that down. Then I should be able to lift this and carefully pull out the parchment. Now I can slowly start to lay this guy down. And it's going to be right where I want it to be. I didn't have to commit too early. And it's that easy. So 
that's the white one. I'm always talking about, you guys know that I mostly use the brown, but the white's going to help you see a little bit better. Now this is white. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe if I turn it like this, you guys can actually see the design, but you guys are fixing to see it with the paint. So once again, stay tuned. Now what we're doing is we're rubbing the design, the vinyl on the canvas. And I'm going mostly around where the design is. All right. Now, what I really should have used is a removable. This is a permanent. We really should have used a removable because it's going to be a lot easier. But you can use. So I've talked about what can you use for a stencil. Well, if you guys buy those mystery boxes and you guys get all these different colors, but you don't like that red or you don't like that blue that came in your mystery box, you can use it for stencils. So it's not going to go for, to waste. So when you get those mystery boxes, you really want some of those fun colors, but then you don't know what to do with the other ones. I don't know what to do with that yellow. I don't know what to do with that orange. Use them for stencils. All right. Almost. Now, once again, I could reuse this, but for the sake of the live, we're not. We're, we're, it's going to rest in peace. All right, here we go. Fun part. Now, I messed up. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I'm going to show you all. You'll see that line. This should have been a banner. But once again, we're dealing with it. I'm using my chalk paint here. And what I'm using for this, you can use foam brushes, paint brushes. I'm using these little daubers because what you really want to do when you're doing stencils is you want to do a daubing motion. If not, if you do a sweeping motion, you're going to push it underneath your vinyl. So you really want to do this daubing motion. So I've got a few different ones here. You can get them in different sizes and we're going to dip into this. And what I'm actually going to do to protect my surface is get me a piece of parchment, get that same parchment. And now the thing about this parchment paper trick you can use the same parchment paper a billion times. It's, it's not hurting. You can cut them down and reuse them because you can use it over and over and over again. So don't feel like you need a ton of that either. And you can grab parchment paper from the Dollar Tree too. All right. Here we go. Now you may want to go ahead and find you a spot here on the side and kind of daub off some of that excess. And then all we're simply going to do now is just go over our entire design where we have any exposed wood. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and come in with this daubing motion. And we are going to dab this entire thing. Now, once again, this is our very last project. We are almost done here. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We are so happy that you guys have stuck it out. For you guys that have stuck it out, or maybe you, you left and you came back, thank you so, so much. Make sure you guys are following our Facebook groups. We are on Instagram, TikTok. So definitely make sure you guys follow us on all of those other socials. We have a community group uh, where you guys can see other crafters with lots and lots of different um, inspiration, as well as we're there to help answer questions that you may have. Um, and you may get a quicker response and stuff over there too, while you guys are crafting. We also have all of our deals over there. We have like for the dollar deals and bundles. And um, I was trying to think of the word promo codes and all that fun stuff. All right. So once again, we're going to go ahead and just dab, dab, dab. Now, if you guys have any questions along the way, don't forget q and I'll go ahead and start answering some of those questions again while, um, while I'm dabbing this out. What do we have? YouTube needs a way to ch uh, chat. Oh, I know. It would be so much fun, wouldn't it? If you guys could actually talk to me through here. Oh, maybe near future. All right. Let's see. I'm just dabbing along, like I said. Just a dabbing motion. You don't want to swipe. Love the paint. Thank you so much, Mr. Craft Pants. He loves this. Um, he's also a fan of the Starcraft paint. So you guys definitely have to check him out too if you guys want to see any, some more inspiration as well. We love us some Mr. Crafty Pants. All right. So we are going to just dab, dab, dab. And like I said, this stuff dries so quick that you're able to just go from sign to sign to sign. So it just makes life so, so easy. And then once again, my tip for you guys with these signs is if you guys get those mystery boxes and you don't know what to do with a color, use it for a stencil. So I am so, so, so excited that you guys are hanging out with us and we are almost here, almost to the finish line. Now, a thing about these stencils too, you could also, and there's a ton of these. I think this one had 40. This bundle right here in itself had 40 designs. You could also do multiple colors. So if I wanted to, say, for example, I needed to add red splashes in here, blue. And say, for example, I did the one that had the laundry basket and I wanted to do my laundry basket pink or whatever. I could do multiple colors. I don't have to just stick with the exact same color. And that's what's really fun about these signs as well. 
lots of different options there. All right, let's see. Hi from Hayden. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm just so excited that you guys are all here crafting. Once again, it would be so cool if we could find other ways to communicate through here. So, so fun. That paint looks like so much fun. It definitely is. And like I said, it's a chalk paint, so it will dry super fast, which allows us to be able to, you know, start pulling this, especially while I'm live. But I have only used, um, you could use acrylic paint if you want to, but now I'm obsessed with this and I just use the, the chalk paint. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on going. Now, I am the person. It's probably against the rules somewhere to dip your brush into, the paint, into your paint container. But I am one, so it's kind of like contaminating. I never stick the same color in this, if that makes a difference. But um, I definitely am one that sticks my paintbrush or my dabber right inside of the paint. You guys let me know, are you guys the same person that does this? I, it just makes life easy. I don't really have to. And you see with a parchment paper, a Teflon sheet, um, I can just dab off excess there too. But yeah, I, I'm one that just goes right inside the container. I'm pretty sure it's against the rules, but I'm doing it anyway. All right. So I think we're on our last pieces here and we're going to go ahead and let this dry down for just a sec. And what I do is I work my way from top to bottom. I'll start peeling this dude off. So um, I am actually going to start trying to work my way from that way. So we'll see here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my sign around and I'm going to start trying to peel it. So I'm going to take my weeding tool here and you may get your hands messy doing this if you're going to go in wet like I am. But what you can do is come back with a, a baby wipe with your hands and clean your hands up. So we're going to go ahead and start to go in here. I'm just trying to be super careful. So slowly, I'm just going to go in here and start peeling all of these pieces. And like I said, I may get this all over my hands, but I can come back in with a baby wipe and clean all that up. And you can come back in. So, for example, I'm going to have the um, centers of my O's and things like that. I'll come back here in a bit and get all of those. So y'all bear with me while I make a mess for just a sec. So we're going to go ahead. I'm trying to keep all my pieces in the center. I don't want to wait, wait, lay down any wet paint on um on my canvas i'm trying to get a big piece torn off so that way i can go ahead and get rid of it all right let's see here if i can't get a big piece torn off so i can go ahead and get rid of the majority of this but as you guys can see it's just peeling right off and i'm doing it while it's wet because i'm messy like that okay hopefully i wasn't hanging down I see my hair down there a little bit hopefully i wasn't too much in y'all's way try not to make a mess there we go let me, and anything you make a mess on, like right here, I made a little mess. I can come back with my white and clean that up, which I'll show you all in just a sec. So let me come back in with a baby wipe, and then I'm going to keep on going. So right now it looks like a mess because a lot of pieces are still left here. Um, but I definitely, in um, if we weren't live, I would let it dry. And I promise you it won't take more than, you know, say 10 minutes. You could definitely take a hair dryer and go through and dry this a whole lot quicker. But once again, since we're live, I'm trying to zoom through here so you guys can see the finished product. And I'm going to come through and kind of wipe my, my weeding tool a little bit too to kind of prevent myself from getting a bunch of paint all over. Let's see. I'm going to have my assistant find that white paint, that uh, the same brand, just so we can kind of go in and touch some things up here in a sec. So we'll see if we can't find that white paint for y'all, just so I can show y'all how to touch anything up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set these pieces here, so I can throw that away here in a sec. There we go. And then keep on pillow. You guys let me know, what do you think of this process here? Once again, I definitely, just to, um, what do you call that? What would be the word? to say that I would not do this while it was just completely wet. I would definitely let it dry down because you make a mess of your hands and stuff. But with this paint too, it's so easy to clean up with a baby wipe that you definitely could. So if I was in a hurry and I was running around like a crazy, I think I needed a little bit more paint here, but that's okay. It adds to the character of it. Um, and I needed to make a last minute housewarming gift. You could definitely do it. Let this dude dry in the car, you know? So life gets busy and crazy and we need to craft. All right, so I think I've got one more piece here. 
And I'm going to flip my sign so you guys can actually read it in the correct direction. I'm loving this too. It is so cute, the sign, the little saying here. And like I said, there was 40 of these things inside one bundle. I was like shocked. You could decorate your entire um, laundry room with this thing. All right, flip it around. So that way we can get this side over here. All right. So now I'm going to keep on trucking here. There we go. I promise you guys, I know some of you guys are, we're on different time zones. So you guys, it may be late where you guys are at, but I promise we are almost there. All right. Let me go ahead and do this really quick. We are almost there, almost there, I promise. Um, but like I said, we are going to, we are about to be giving, doing our announcement for our giveaway. I'm so, so excited about it. And, um, and then we're going to do Q&A for, we, I'm sure we have a few questions left. So we'll try to be quick on that for you guys that have just been hanging out here. All right. Once again, thank you all so much that have gave us your time today and hung out. It has been a ton of fun. Life is too short to fold the fitted sheets. And I 100% agree with that. Put them, in a, put them in a ball and let them roll. Now, what's really cool about this is I can definitely just come in here, wipe my hands, as you guys can see with a baby wipe. It came off so easy. And then I'm going to come back in. You definitely would want to let it dry. I'm going to grab our white paint here. Bear with me for two seconds. And then we are going to take another paintbrush and clean this up. Give me two seconds here. There we go. All right. So what I've got is the white paint here. Once again, I'm dipping in it. I know it's against the laws, but I'm going in with a paintbrush. This paintbrush is a little bit of a hot mess, so don't judge it. So I'm going to try to find some dry areas so I can kind of go in there. So hopefully you guys can see that. You're just going to go in any of those little bitty splatters that kind of got off. So whenever, like, for example, because mine was still wet, I can just kind of go in here in between and paint it. So if my background was black and these were white, I would just go in with a black paint, you know, so on and so forth. My back was pink, just go in and adjust those pieces. So it's super easy to go in and clean all of those up. It's no big deal at all. But I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I hope that you guys have found some inspiration along the way. So let's go ahead and get ready for Q&A. <laughs> All right, ignore our mess. We have crafted, I feel like we have crafted our tushes off today. So we have done the ultimate craft off. Let's do a quick recap really fast before we jump into our Q&A. We have our sign here. We did the stencil. We walked all the way through the steps, okay? We did two, well, we had a fail today. We had a fail with our, our mug here. We did the really cool acrylic keychain. We sublimated on that. We did the Glowforge sign, which looks just like this. Now, once again, you could definitely put it in this direction. Did I do that correct? This direction here, or you could do this direction here. Um, and then we also did the shadow box, the little 3D shadow box here. I know you guys can't see those lights and stuff, but that came out super cool as well. So that was all of our crafts. So let's go ahead and answer our last few questions before we get ready for our announcement of the giveaway. All right, let's see. Can you use the camping mugs in the Cricut Mug Press? Yes, you can. So for example, this one right here, I brought today to show you guys for an example. We did a tutorial. It's here on the channel. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I do believe I get to drop that in the comments below, um, maybe even in the description. But we actually did a tutorial showing you guys how to do this with a Cricut Mug Press. Let's see, can you use the, okay, let's see, why do you need an easy press with Bluetooth? Now, this is what I had an aha moment the other night. So I honestly think if you guys are familiar with the stalls, it is called the IQ Fusion. That is what they have. They have kind of the computer built into, that is the, if you guys are, um, say for example, I've been a crafter for a long time. So that is like the holy grail. Everybody that is either a like, into the business or a big time crafter, that is the holy grail of all presses. And it runs off of technology where you can say, okay, I'm using this t-shirt, this kind of materials, and it's going to press it and give it that exact pressure and things. So I think that's what Cricut's trying to do is to get into that market. So that way, so even with a Cricut Easy Press 3, not just the auto press, 
it's going to um, allow you to get those exact pieces um, and send it straight to your thing, kind of like that IQ Fusion, which is like $5,000. So I think they're trying to get into that market with that technology, because like I said, that is the holy grail, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But that's what my thoughts are. All right, let's see. Is there an odor when using these sublimation dyes? No, you definitely should not have an odor at all. You may notice what looks like smoke, and that's the magic happening, which is like the gases that are happening to create that. But um, it looks like smoke. It's definitely not. It's just that process. But you should not smell anything. I've always heard we should use butcher paper for sublimation, but notice you are using parchment paper. So um, yes, when I first started out too, I was told, which is called butcher paper is the same thing, what's called blowout paper. I use both butcher paper and parchment paper, just depending on what I'm doing. The parchment's going to be like a nonstick. Um, and one thing I have learned, if you put, say, for example, um, I was sublimating something else and I needed to put the parchment on top, that will not stick to the parchment, I guess, if you do it for a long time. But it kind of, I don't know, I, I feel like the butcher paper will suck out some of the color depending on what you're doing. But depending, say, for example, I'll put butcher paper down, then the T-shirt, and then I use parchment. So I, I do use it. All right, let's see, does any of the companies like Glowforge and Cricut sell refurbished items less expensive? They do not, not that I know of. Now, I know that Cricut used to, they used to have, and I don't know if they sold them, but I knew that you used to be able to trade your machine in, but they don't do it. But I would definitely recommend checking out your local marketplace. All right, let's see, what else? Um, can you do sublimation over Glitter HTV? I had wood keychains and would love to use sublimation on them. Yes, you could definitely sublimate on glitter. So um, you could definitely do that. And then I was trying to see on the wood keychains, there is something really cool where you could take, um, I believe you can get it from Lowe's and it has a dry erase board on one side. So it's wood, so it's super thick. I was thinking we could cut some keychains out with that and sublimate as well. Are all of these projects included in the, yes, all of these projects are just a few. I mean, there's just, tons and tons of designs. These are just a few that is included, but everything I have used today, except for the font um, Sagittarius, the one I used here, this is um, Houston Signature. Like I said, I, they have it linked down below for us, but this one was a plus credit. Everything else is included. All right, so I believe that was our last question. So let's go ahead and get ready to announce the giveaway. <music> All right, so let me give you guys all the details for the giveaway. What you actually want to do is head on over to the Facebook community group. So if you guys are not already part of the Facebook community group, make sure you guys head on over. We have it linked in the chat. We have it linked in the description. You want to be a part of our Facebook community group because that is where you're going to actually enter for today's giveaway. You're going to head on over, you're going to see a post, and you're going to be able to enter. Now, what's available for giveaway. Normally we just give away a year membership. No, no, no. We're giving away, you can either win the Cricut Maker 3, the Silhouette, or you can even win five different people are going to win a year's gold plus membership. Five lucky winners. We also going to have, I believe, three lucky winners for a $50 Amazon gift card, which you guys had actually used towards the new Cricut Hat Press. You guys could use that towards the new Cricut Easy Press 3 or even some materials. So head on over to our Facebook community group so you guys have a chance to win. Now, I want to say thank you to everybody that hung out with us today and crafted. And remember, you guys could definitely check this on the replay. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.